Hey, it's JC, the creator, director, and host of Age of Reason. I'm standing right outside Moonlight Sonata Studios in Yokohama. And before we get to the main message of this, I'd like to remind people about our feature-length documentary on Judeo-Christian religions called Requiescat in Pace. We are promoting it on the Facebook page. I'd like to remind people that we are not making any money from this project whatsoever, but we kindly ask people to cover the cost of the disc itself and the shipping fees. Thank you. Now, in season one, we covered a wide range of various topics, such as nature conservation, pseudoscience, Mormonism, and history, among many others. We are back for season two of Age of Reason. Hey, what are you reading there? Well, just a little book by Christopher Hitchens known as God is Not Great and How Religion Poisons Everything. And that's a very good book that gives a lot of good reasons in the form of arguments. And arguments is how we reason by giving good premises and coming up with a good conclusion. My goal of the show is to promote knowledge and common sense. And to do that, you need to give good premises that are verified to come up to a conclusion that is both valid and sound. So that you don't say stupid things like, I'll pray for you. Climate change is a hoax. There's a snowball right there. Vaccines cause autism. Well, if you don't believe in God, it means you believe in Satan. Everything in the Bible is true. The proof's in the Bible. God is always just and good. Nah, you can't disprove God. Therefore, it must be true. I've never studied other religions, but I know that mine is the real one. Evolution has been disproven. Burden of proof? I don't have to prove anything. I'm talking to God 24-7 and I've had multiple encounters. I just feel it. God said it. There's one book that proves it. And what do you hope to achieve with the show? Well, um, I think evidence is king. We should always have evidence. If we're going to make a claim, you've got to have a, a way to prove your claim. You can't hold up one book and say it's in this book, but it's not in any other book, so therefore it must be true. No, it doesn't work. I like demonstrable evidence. And I hope that we can prove through this show that by having, you know, clear thoughts and demonstrable evidence, you can actually make a decent argument. Yeah. Join us soon. We'll be back. Knowledge. We'll set. You. Free. Free.